Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 5th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking here, the last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. We do have some strong M-class solar flares to talk about yet again. Earth-facing positions, outgoing positions... We've seen a very active sun as of late. Look at the last 48 hours with a little earth to scale there. Active region incoming in the southern hemisphere, which is the left-hand side of our sun in this view. Pretty active sunspot region. And then in the outgoing position, this is where we see saw most of the solar flares. Two large M-class solar flares, multiple seas. And this is the last 48 hours of imagery. Wanted to give you a closer look at the last 48 hours of events. Lots of cosmic energy there, equatorial regions. And then recently there with the most recent M-class solar flares. And a quick look there at the incoming sunspot regions. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. And as well, just recently, it's been very active on our sun, expecting something even larger to come. So heads up, stay aware, prepared, and be ready to the changing events on our sun. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, plasma filaments in the southern and northern hemisphere have since dissipated. Looking at another light here, this is where we can see our coronal hole regions which would be the blackened areas of our sun. And there are a couple small ones developing there, equatorial and in the southern hemisphere. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed in here with daily events worldwide. And thank you all for tuning in today and pressing play. Having a quick look here at our sunspot regions in action as we have eight sunspot regions right now. Two of them are very large in the equatorial regions. Another one turning around. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected, as well solar radiation storm and G3, strong geomagnetic storm impacts expected, surface charging, satellite components, false alarms can be triggered, stuff like that but it also affects our minds and our hearts. Let's have a look here at the solar X-ray flux recently, large M-class solar flare and one just yesterday, yet again, solar proton flux right up there and geomagnetic activity. We did hop up to a KP7 last night, very high. And then look at here at the absorption wrap. This is our cosmic ray absorption areas, highest frequency absorption. Bl big blast there over Africa. And then again over the Atlantic. And there is more to come, so heads up. Having a look at the Aurora forecast for the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere, definitely going to see some Northern Lights tonight throughout Canada. And quite possibly through parts of Tasmania. In the southern hemisphere and the auroras will be seen as far south as possibly utah maybe even colorado having a look at the iswa space prediction spiral showing most recent cme blast taking off from our sun in the outgoing position and then this one took off from the m-class solar flare as of late that is another large coronal mass ejection set to give us a glancing blow around the 9th into the 10th, or sorry, 8th into the 9th of August. And we are already going through our geomagnetic storm now as expected, and we'll continue over the next 24 hours looking at the NOAA space prediction spiral, showing that double CME blast coming right at Earth. Boom. Amazing images here. Another closer look at the CME blasts prediction models 
heading up into the 6th, 7th, and 8th. Quick browse here now at the last go to showing the last 48 hours of images. Cosmic energy taking off from our sun. Big blast there in the last few images. That M class of solar flare did produce a coronal mass ejection as seen there in the predicted models. But this is another way to see that coronal mass ejection taken off from our sun and the instant cosmic energy coming towards us in this view. Now let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we're sitting at about 200 earthquakes, but we saw a large earthquake here in Argentina, 6.2 over 500 kilometer depth. It's quiet through central regions, increasing activity here, White City, New Mexico, quiet through California, quieting down through Yellowstone, and then Hawaii, seeing increasing activity, 3.6 there. Alaska quieting down as well compared to what it was a couple days ago. And then all these fours straight across the Indian plate and up into the Philippine, Philippines plate. Something is a brewing, expecting something larger than that 6.2 that we saw in Argentina. Deepest earthquake there, uh, 4.9 Fiji. 540 kilometer depth. Pakistan seeing some shakers today as well, 5.0 and 4.7. And as well, Tanzania, 4.9 earthquake, African plate, and a 4.1 there. Albania, pretty rare place for earthquake, does not happen often. But that's a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the world, largest being the 6.2, and as well the deepest, Argentina the largest and deepest earthquake today increasing activity this week through central regions of america the cocos plate and as well the increasing activity this week through the african plate up into the arabian lots of deep earthquakes all these elevated rings showing the depth of the earthquakes the past seven days Let's get to weather here, brought to you by windy.com. Showing here forecast models, low pressure systems affecting central United States this week, and as well Ontario, Manitoba. Big low coming out of the Hudson Bay, cooling things down. Watch by Tuesday into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, low pressure system affecting Ontario, and then sweeping into the Atlantic provinces. And then a more extreme weather develops here, southern United States, all around the Gulf. Daily extreme weather events will continue, especially with all these warm temperatures. But watch for a big cool down coming with that low pressure system coming out of Regina and Manitoba. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Still got a low through Central Europe and as well off the United Kingdom. They're going to join forces there and head towards Norway, Finland. And then you've got another big low here in the Atlantic, scooting northwards. Looks like that is on track to head towards Iceland. But not before spreading some waves of moisture towards parts of Western Europe. Other than that, no major tropical system is developing there in the Atlantic. But then we get to the Pacific here. And we do have Typhoon Kanun, who is heading towards South Japan, expected arrival date Monday into Tuesday, making landfall as quite possibly a Category 3, maybe a 4, could intensify over the next 24 hours. I'm going to be keeping an eye on that. Feel free to come into the live stream and check out on the data. But it's going to be a very windy, a rainy event for uh, South Korea and North Korea. And then up into Russia with that big system. And then another one building in behind there. Pacific Typhoon season could be a doozy, just like the Atlantic. As we are expecting higher number of strong storms. 
overlooking Australia, high pressure ridge dominating throughout the week until Monday or Tuesday where you've got some moisture coming in from the east and the south. But high pressure winning most of the week for Australia. New Zealand getting low pressure systems affecting you this week. Quick look here overlooking the eastern Pacific. Watching moisture heading towards the BC coastline. Big high pressure ridge off western United States and pretty dominant this week it does not look like it will be budging there have been no new volcanic eruptions but we're going to share here the air quality forecast as we've seen quite an eruption either at Alaska or through Russia you can see that was dark red regions producing high SO2 content and spreading across the Alaskan Peninsula and across the Northern Hemisphere. We did have an eruption somewhere. Gonna have to dive deep into that situation there and check out the satellite data to confirm. But again, I wanna welcome all the new family members to the channel. Thanks for watching today. And thanks for hitting that like and sharing. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.